What's up, y'all? Welcome to Book Vibes. This is the place where you read what you like because if it vibes with you, that's what you do. And today I am bringing you guys my collection video. I haven't done one since November 2021, and I don't plan on doing another one for a very long time. So I hope that you guys enjoy this. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comment section below, and let's get into this. All right, y'all, we'll start right in the front. I have Q 1 through 4. And then over here, I have Free Run 1 through 4. I highly recommend Free Run. It is very different, a slow burner, but it is good to read when you want to, like, people say when you want to cleanse your mind from all the other stuff I'm about to show you because I got some heavy stuff. Anyway, no, I am not going to continue co collecting Q. It's just too long, y'all. But I got Hinata, so I might keep these for them. Anyway, I have Gigantamaxia, Gigantamaxia, however you say it, One Punch Man, 1 through 11. Then, I have Battle Royale, values 1 through 11, and I need 12, 14, and 15. So, in order for me to read it, if you guys can find it anywhere, just send it by my way or send me the link, because I really want to binge this. Everyone's like, don't read it until you have all of it, and I'm like, yeah. Anyway. That was a weird sound. <laughs> I have Spy Family 1 through 7. Next over, I have Jujutsu Kaisen, not 0 through 16, but 0. 0.5 through 16 because I was the simp and bought the little movie thing, the recent movie that just came out, and they had these 0. 0.5. Can't read it, it's in Japanese, but still cool to have. A little bit of figures there. All right, and then I got Chainsaw Man 1 through 11. Highly recommend, probably one of my favorite shonen because if you guys will see further along that I love seinen and really dark stuff. So this is one of my favorite shonens. Kaiju number eight, volumes one and two. It's climbing up there in Mashal 1 through 6. Loving Mashal. It is not something I always jump to, but if I want to laugh and have fun, much like One Punch Man, then I read it. Like everyone said, it's a mashup between Harry Potter. I couldn't even think of the name of that. Oh my God. Harry Potter and One Punch Man. If y'all can't tell I'm out of breath, it's because I am big girl and big girl shouldn't be doing stuff like this. Let's move on. All right, so my next shelf is my Junji Ito Shrine. You guys know I love Junji Ito. Here are all the Funko Pops that are that came out for Junji Ito. And here are my Junji Ito figures. Now, they just recently came out with color ones. Like, with, you know, it was painted with color, not black and white. And I need them. But if you want to see the unboxing of this, I will link it in the cards above. Anyway, so we have this Uzumaki little plushie. Got the Uzumaki, Uzumaki coloring book. Uzumaki Tomie Gyo. Then at the top we have the Dissolving Classroom. Jinji Ito's Cat Diary. No longer human. Rimina. Venus. Uh, Venus in the fly trap. No, it's Venus in the, bl in the blind. You know what? I'm not sure if I read all that. I was going to say I've read all my Jinji Ito, but I don't know. Fragments of Horror. Sensor. Deserter. Love Sickness. Frankenstein. I have not read Frankenstein. Then we have Smashed and Shivered, which out of these little compilations, Shiver and Deserter are probably my favorite. All right, next up I have Hell's Paradise, volumes one through thir thir thirteen. <laughs> volumes one through thirteen. Why can't I say it? Anyway, great series. This is complete, y'all. I absolutely love this. I love the art. The covers are beautiful. It is just a great overall series. If you want to get into seinen manga, this might be a great start for you. Then I have The Way of the House Husband, volumes 1 through 7, Zom 100, 1 through 6, Golden Kamui, volume 1. Um, I haven't read that yet because I feel like it's going to be good and I'm going to want to read more than one volume. Then I have Kayo Matsumoto's number 5. I mostly got these for cover. I read volume 1, really enjoyed it. Ping Pong was gifted to me by my friend Marg. Cannot wait to get into that. Behind that, I have Tokyo Ghoul, um, complete Beast Complex and a Beast Stars 1 through 18 up to date. Moving All on. right, this next shelf just has Claymore, which I'm running out of space, so I might end up just putting that back in the box. 
Then I have Mal, volumes one through four. Um, still need volume five, but I do need to start it because as you can see, number two is still covered and I haven't read it yet. <laughs> I read volume one though. Mermaid Saga, volumes one and two. Then back here I have Orange and all the complete, you know, little complete set. Then I have I Want to Eat Your Pancreas. I had that same dream again. I have a silent voice which came in a box set. Can you guys see that? It looks like it's really dark. I'm really sorry if it's dark. I have Dragon Voice. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you know I bought Dragon Voice in Japanese. And I decided I wanted to use that to help me learn Japanese. So I'll be reading these together, um, the Japanese and English versions. Then I have a Radiant 1 through 5 and the Legend or the Heroic Legend of Arslan Volumes 1 and 2. Now I haven't collected all of that because y'all let me tell you, I read Volume 1 and oh my god, it was so good. And I was like, I need all of them before I, I even start this again because I want to binge it. So so far, very good, good series. Alright, sorry for the darkness. I changed my lens because it had a better focal, but it doesn't bring in any light, you know, with the apertures. Like, yeah, no, yeah, maybe not, maybe too much. Anyway, on this shelf, I have, there's no rhyme or reason. By the way, none of this has any organization, except for up here, you guys see that I had all of my shonen. Um, I tried and then it just didn't work out. Anyway, so I just put stuff wherever it fit. So I have Pandora's Heart. I got that from the box set. This is Sakuran. This is one of my precious uh, manga, which was solely a cover by. I do not see myself actually opening this up and reading it. I will probably read this digitally because it's so old and it is so fragile. Anyway, it is a Jose and I um, started it in the book and it just, I felt uncomfortable and I was like, nah, bro, that's, that is a display piece. So I'm going to get that digitally and read it that way. Then I have one through eight of Parasite, which y'all, I am so excited to get the color version of this. I'm like, y'all, come, come on with it. Y'all taking too long. Let me move everything over. Oh yeah, don't forget about my Dio candle. That is the best thing. Hey, Dag, shout out to Dags for this awesome candle. Anyway, uh, behind that, ooh, don't fall, baby, no. Okay, behind that, I have Die Vergelder. I just, yeah, sorry to my Germans if you're why I apologize for that. That was unnecessary. Anyways, and then I have Happy Kanako's Killer Life 1 and 2, The Uncommons. Um, what is that called? Island in a Puddle. Oh my gosh, it looks so, like, innocent on the front. Let me turn this. Oh my goodness, come on, get your life together, girl. <laughs> we can... <laughs> oh, I laugh at myself. Anyway, Island in a Puddle by K. Sanbe. Y'all, this looks like a little cutesy story. No, no. Get on this. Do not sleep on this story. I enjoyed this more than I thought I would. And then right next to it, I have Yoshino Zurika. Zurika. All right, I got my settings to work and I'm back and I have a young alive and love this was put out by starfruit books it is a small company but they put out some little indie stuff and I am actually really excited to read this I haven't read this yet but I have read another title that I'm gonna show you guys a little bit later from this company so you guys hit them up I think I have a card in here somewhere I don't but I'll link them down below all right then I have Yona of the Dawn volume one Osan Idol volume one which is a little series about some older gentlemen who are starting an idol group it's really funny i'm not sure if i'm gonna fully collect this or just read it digitally then i have bell's tale and the beast tale from beauty and the beast and this morning <laughs> i got a box in from mark and she sent me demon prince of momochi house the entire series so i have definitely got to find somewhere to put this but i'm gonna take this down really quick and next up you see down here i have 10 11 12 of hot gimmick but the rest of it's here so one two the whole series one through 12 and let me tell y'all this is some hot trash some hot mess y'all this series is insane um triggers not the kind of triggers y'all talking about it's triggers of anger because y'all like how stupid can this girl get but, but, but i haven't read the whole thing so i can't judge her fully then we have my Love Story, volumes 1 through 11, and then 13. I cannot find 12 anywhere. And behind that, I have um, 
The Living Room Matsunaga-san, 1 through 10. Walter Koi. Uh, my volume 6 is the Barnes & Noble version. Then I have Sweat & Soap Complete. Love this series. I highly recommend it to those who don't necessarily like romance. If y'all want something a little different, that I, you know, it's cool. And then Something's Wrong With Us, a Jose, volumes 1 through 8. This is up to date so far. I can't remember if I show y'all the front, but I'm gonna show y'all. Rent a Girlfriend, volumes one through 13. Still loving this series. Um, then there's Rent a Really Shy Girlfriend. I don't like it that much, so I might not continue that. Blue Period. Okay, so I read volumes one and two, but I started reading something else, and I have no idea what it's about, so I gotta start it over, but this is up to date. Then we have Fruits Basket, one through 12. All right, next up we have Brides, A Bride's Story, Volumes 1 and 2. The art is on point. Like, it's probably some of the best art that I've seen. I want to get the rest of that for sure. Um, and My Brain is Different, which is like a... a yeah, let me pull it out. Let me pull it out. Oh, ouch! <laughs> My Brain is Different, Stories of ADHD and Other Developmental Disorders. Y'all, I am into psychology, and this is kind of, it says, Navigating Life with a Developmental Disorder. It's like little short stories of people and how they deal with that. And I was like, that's cool. Put my two worlds together. Anyway, right next to that is The Masterful Cat is Depressed Again. Very cute little story. It's just about this cat that kind of like helps his owner and he cooks for her and stuff. He takes care of her. It's so weird, but I might continue it. I don't know. Next to that is a Blank Canvas Volume 1. I haven't read that. That was actually gifted to me. Um, volumes 1 and 2 of The Girl with the Senpaku Eyes. This is actually in color. Really cool. I read Volume 1. It was okay. And I, you know, I haven't finished collecting it. Uh, behind that is Inuyashiki Volumes 1 through 10. Finally got Volumes 1, or Volume 10. Oh my gosh. And then we had the Full Metal Alchemist, um, the Full Metal Editions. I am missing like, let me see. I think I'm missing like 14, 12, 14, and 17, like the newest one. So I just have a few more to complete this. And you already saw 8 through 10. Where's 9? Oh, it just fell. I got it right here. It's right here. Um, so anyway, I have Life Lessons with... Um, let me look at this because this is kind of hard for me to say. I don't know why. Back up. Come on, focus, baby. Um, Life Lessons with Urumichi Onisan. And it's just basically about a guy who does a TV, TV children's TV show. It is a um, slice of life. And like I said, I'm not big into slice of life, slice of life but it's, it's always nice to have that, you know, when you're reading heavy stuff. Anyway, I have Oku 1 through 19 that is complete. I mainly got this, y'all. This was like a cover by like these covers. Let me let me let me just show you. Look at this. No, that's not a good example. Let me see. Let me try this one. No, that's that was a lean one too. Yeah, look at this. Look at look at this cover, y'all. Look at this. It's beautiful. Like it's beautiful. And then with the black spines, it's like sexy, y'all. It's oh, let's put that up there. <laughs> All right, so next up we have The Drifting Classroom by Kazuo Mez. And then we have Orochi by Kazuo Mez. And then we get into um, Osamu Tezuka with the book of Human Insects. MW, which I believe MW might be the best, one of the best series if you want to start out with some Tezuka. Then Ayako, it's a little bit deeper. I don't, I don't like it that much. I'm still reading it. Um, Message to Adolf volumes are part one and two. And then the Osamu Tezuka story, which is just a manga um, drawn out by his assistants about his life story. Above that, I have Tokyo Zombie by Yusako Hanakuma. Hanakuma. And it's not your typical manga. Like, let me scroll through because there might be some stuff in there that looks crazy, but I want y'all to see a little bit of the art. This is a weird one. <laughs> um, next to that, I have... Um, Slum Wolf by Tadao Suge, which is another Gekiga artist. Not Simple was a one star, one star, one stop, one stop. Sheesh, one shot. What is happening? It's a one shot by Natsumi Ono. Next to this, I have my Kago or Kago section. Um, so, right, first one is Super Dimensional 
Love Gun, um, which is already weird. I haven't read that. Dimension 21, Dimension 21 Volume 2. If you want to start out with some um, Chicago, I would start out with this series. Very funny about a geriatric worker who has to go through all these quests in order to get her um, a reward, like some great reward for that. Then there's the 12 si Sisters of the Neverending Castle, the Princess of the Neverending Castle, and right next to that is Panorama Island by um, Suhiro Maro. So, yeah. All right, so last for this shelf, I have St. Young Men. Then I have, um, here's my dog. <laughs> I have They Call This Enemy by George Take. Um, then Sailor Moon, the Eternal Editions 1 through 7, or 1 through 6, my bad. Um, Rohan at the Louvre, which that should actually be over by my JoJo stuff. I have Akira that's out of the box set as, lo as well as the Akira Club. Like it's like art and stuff like that. Next to that, I have Twisted Visions, which is a art book from Junji Ito. Above that, I have Vinland Saga 1 through 5. I haven't read past volume 1, so I didn't want to buy any more until I kind of got through these. Um, and then Exogenesis right above that. And this, these are just some little comic books that I have um, by, I um, forgot his name, but just, you know, two little, you know, indie comics that I've got randomly. <laughs> All right, so I have like a little wall decoration, um, a Junji Ito wall decoration given to me by my girl, your bald headed senpai. Shout out, girl. Thank you. I appreciate it. I love this. And this is the Berserk like little canvas piece that came with volume 41. This is the last volume that Kentaro Miura um, participated in while he was alive. And I haven't opened it yet. I really, I just don't really want to keep it like this for a while. And then I have volumes 1 through 10 of Berserk Deluxe Editions. As you guys can see, I've only read 1 through 5. And I've already kind of forgotten it, so I'm going to start it over. And then I have the magazine that had the last chapter of Berserk um, that Kentaro Miura did. It is called The Young Animals or something like that. Um, be wary, y'all. This is not, this book was not for children. It's got all kind of like little girls. Like, I bet y'all, not little girls, like underage girls, more like young ladies. So, sorry about that. Moving on. You know, little naked girls and stuff like that. Then we have One Piece, the pirate, um, recipe book. Um, it's kind of out of place, but it's, you know, the only place that it can fit. So, you're going to stay right here for a while. Below that, I have um, JoJo's Part 1. Oops, turn on the lights. Oh, let's turn it off. <laughs> JoJo's <laughs> Part 1, 2, and 3 at the top, all complete. Right next to that, I have the JoJo's Magazine. Um, just a little fun thing I bought from Kino I had to have it. It's the collector in me. <laughs> HVL manga, shout out for that quote. And then I have part four and part five, volumes one through three. I still need to get volume four. And then Fist of the North Star, volumes one through four. And uh, below that, man, we're about to get another angle. Yeah, that's much better. <laughs> volumes one through six of the black edition of Death Note. Right next to it, I have the short stories, um, A Man Wall, The Breaker. Very good so far. One Shot, All You Need Is Kill, Volume 1 and 2 of Alice in Borderland. Some kind of Battle Royale, Royale, Battle Royale spinoff. Everyone says it's terrible and that I shouldn't read it until I read Battle Royale, which y'all know I can't get because I ain't got all the volumes. Anyway, Record of Record and Rock, Volumes 1 and 2. Silent Mobius, Volumes 1 through 4. That's complete. Manwa, Solo Leveling, 1 through 4. And The Hell Bond the hell bond no the hell bound can't she read not really <laughs> and then right above that i have the town of pigs and this is the other volume of manga that i got from uh starfruit books and it's a very crazy story um look at the darks like it's really really cool i'm not gonna s s scan through it but it is a horror and Get your hands on it. It is good stuff. Like I said, Starfruit Books is linked below. So at the very top of this um, last shelf, I have Attack on Titan, the Colossal Editions 1 through 6. I have the beginning, which is just some sketches that um, Isayama did 
when he was starting to sketch out Attack on Titan. Then I have volume 34 in Japanese. I don't know if y'all can see that in the Shikishi board or Shishiki, however you say that, that came with the Kunia, Kunia version of 34. And then I have one through five because I bought that before the Colossal Editions. And then 31 through 34. And as you can see, I have three versions of 34 because the Barnes and Noble, um, Books of a Million, and the Kino Kunia versions. I just I just had to have them because Attack on Titans is like one of those series that I kind of started out with. All right, right below that I have Vagabond by Takahiko Inoue, volumes 1 through 12, and volume 37. And my husband, don't look at him. Ooh, hey boy, hey boy. Okay, anyway, um, below that I have my Urasawa show. So, as you can see, I have 20th Century Boys, Sneeze, Muju, is it Muji Rushi, <laughs> Master Keaton Volume 1, Asadora 1 through 5, um, Monster 1 through 9 complete, Pluto 1 through 8 complete, and I have 1 through 6 of Billy Bat. Now, this is in Japanese, I can't read it, but. Y'all need to come on and give us Billy Bat. Like, we need Billy Bat. Let's go. All right, right below Naoki Urasawa, I have I Am a Hero 1 through 11. This is complete, y'all. It was hard to find this, and I started it, but I got caught up in other stuff. Y'all know how that goes. So I'm waiting for a time to actually sit down and binge it. Die Dark 1 through 3, and then 7 Billion, seven billion Needles by Nobuaki, Nobuaki Tadano. Um, very good sci-fi series. You don't see it on a lot of people's shelves because it's really hard to find. I I paid a kidney and a half for this. So just read it digitally. Very good series. And then I have Ichigo right here. Below that, I have Shizo Shimi in the back. I have The Flowers of Evil. Um, Happiness Volume 1. I, I have read it digitally, but I do want to collect it at some point physically uh, welcome back alice this is a brand new series by shuzo shimi i have not read it yet waiting on volume two because i feel like i'm gonna be mad um inside mari volumes one through eight we are waiting on volume nine y'all come on let's go let's get with it shino can't say her name this is probably my least favorite from shuzo shimi and then of course blood on the tracks is it one through eight right now is it one through eight yeah, one through eight is up to date, so cannot wait for the next volume of that. We'll start over here. Below that is my Ennio Asano. So we have, let's see, Nijigahara Holograph. Um, I haven't even finished that. It's it's okay. Then we have Dead Dead Demons, Dead Dead, Dead Destruction. Um, this is probably one of my favorites from him. Cannot wait for that volume 11 to come out. Somebody said a volume 12 is going to come out, so I thought volume 11 was ending it, but not... Um, volume 2 of What a Wonderful World. Volume 1 is extremely hard to find, but these are a bunch of short stories by Ennio Sano. Solonin, very good one shot. Downfall, meh. Then we have Goodnight Pum Pum. The one series I like to hype up, it was okay. It was okay. It, it, uh, maybe I'll read it again, maybe I won't. I don't know, but it was okay. <laughs> and then we have A Girl on the Shore. Oh boy. <sighs> That, I, that's that's a whole nother video this thing right here this some people love it some people absolutely hate it and some people abhor it and i think i'm the abhor person i don't know maybe i'll read it again I, if my soul can take it um sensei's pious lie this is by kane toriaki how do you say her name torikai yeah kane torikai um she is a very good manga because this story is a i believe it's a jose and it is chock full of stuff that will get you just whoa it's a lot and she happens to be married to this guy um then we have utsubora um i was very confused very good series one shot um it is by what is her name asumiko nakamura um more on this later i think i want to read it one more time before i give it like a full judgment and then right next to that is lychee light club and i want to burn that throw it in the trash smash it in the compactor <laughs> right we have made it down to the bottom of the shelf and it consists mostly of bleach and doro hidoro and a volume of doubt now as you can see this is not the completed i need quite a few volumes um i have one through 29 i'm missing 30 
31, 32, 33, missing 34, 35 through 39, and then 56, and then 70 through 74 minus 73. So I have a lot to chop up, but you know, I'm gonna probably just resell these because the third box set is coming out and I'm gonna grab that. And then Doro Hidoro um, completed such a good series. I'm on volume nine now and I'm loving every, I have loved every volume so far. And then Doubt, I've only read half of it because I need volume two. Like I, I have to have volume two before I continue because I'll be mad because there's so much going on. So good so far, I'm really enjoying that. All right, so on this shelf, this is where my TV stand is. Um, I have, oops, sorry, Wayne. Behind Wayne and Aaliyah. I'm just moving y'all over, sorry. I have um, Inuyashiki in Japanese. I'm hoping to read this one day in Japanese, like fully. And then, dang, knocking my people's over. Sorry, y'all. And then Fruits Basket, Shirakuma Cafe. I have a Dragon Voice as well as this series. Where does it go? I had another series. Oh, here it is. It is called Liar Game. Have you guys ever heard of this? Do you guys know if this is in English? Because, like, I need to know. Like, look at the inside. Look. Look. I'm going to show y'all some panels. It looks crazy. It looks... Look at this. Anyway. And then I have Yotsuba, another Shirakuma Cafe. And that is it for my manga collection.